Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another very interesting topic lined up for you. We will talk through how to know if you're overwhelmed, why you need to say no, and lastly 10 ways to say no without feeling guilty. So without any delay let's start the video. What are some signs that can tell you if you're overwhelmed? Increased irritability. One of the best clues to becoming aware of overwhelm is a rise in our irritability level. When we become irritated by things we typically wouldn't, it's time to start checking in with ourselves. If not, we become ticking time bombs, never knowing when we're going to explode. Even worse, we become irritable for lengthier periods. Have trouble focusing and concentrating. When you are overwhelmed and facing tough situations you may find it hard to focus on tasks right in front of you. Or you may find that you forget simple things such as names of coworkers. That is due to the cortisol hormone that is released to deal with stress as it can shrink the part of the brain that controls memory. In the long term, this can stimulate proteins that might cause Alzheimer's disease. Crying spells. I think this might be one of the most unrecognized signs of being emotionally overwhelmed. Crying spells often feel like they come out of the blue, and we can't pinpoint why we're crying. We often believe we're crying over no reason or an unimportant reason. The thing is, we're sobbing from not previously processing our emotions. Why it's important to say no. You're responsible for creating your boundaries. Here's a reality check. Boundaries are created they don't come baked into your relationships. If you're constantly finding yourself in uncomfortable situations with people who want you to give more and more of yourself, it's likely because you aren't taking responsibility for creating boundaries. Confidence and respect. It's a life skill that positively changes how you present yourself professionally and personally. Knowing instinctively when to say yes and when to say no shows you have clarity about your priorities, about what you want from life, and about how to respect others' choices without ignoring yours. Successful people know how to say no. This is something they've had to teach themselves, because they too struggled with the no word at some point in time. But with science showing us that no improves productivity and mental health, none of us can afford to keep saying yes. Each time you say no to something that you would have said yes to in the past, you are strengthening your muscle to create boundaries and making it easier to say no in the future. Now at last we will talk about 10 ways to say no without feeling guilty. Take a look at your own personal limits. It is important to draw clear boundaries for yourself when it comes to work, family, romantic relationships slash dating, finances, and your social life. Take some quiet time to think through and even journal about the boundaries you would like to define. Be clear about your no. Sounds easy enough, right? Except we sometimes get lost in the niceties. It's helpful to think through what would logically happen if you say no versus saying yes. Would you feel overwhelmed if you take on yet another task or commit to going to an event you don't want to attend? Be prepared for the reactions of others. We're going to be honest, not everyone is going to be as happy about your ability to say no as we are. Some people will look at you and say, good for you. Do what you need to do and support you endlessly. Separate the request from the relationship. Understand that when you must decline a request, you are not denying the individual or saying that you hate them, you are only refusing to oblige to their requests, which may not suit the priorities you have at hand. Stick to your decision. When you stick to your boundaries, you will begin to feel more control and comfort in your everyday life. Sticking to boundaries will help you improve your self-esteem while also feeling calmer and surer of yourself. Focus on your focus. If you believe that you can thoroughly handle another request and balance it well enough with your current task or project or initiative, then please go ahead and take it on, or find a way to turn those two tasks into a collaborative effort. Take a step back from your emotions. Taking a step back emotionally can help you reevaluate the situation you're in. 
Doing this allows you to try to outline the kind of relationship or environment you would want if you could create it on your own, away from all other influences. Don't forget self-care. The more you care about yourself and the more self-care you practice, you'll begin to find more balance and happiness within yourself and your life. It won't always be easy to practice self-care, but it will get better with time. Trust yourself. Trust your gut. Listen to what it's telling you. From our experience, it's rarely ever wrong. Listen to what it says yes and no to. You can trust this inner voice because it's trying to take care of you. Repeat reassuring phrases. Whatever you need to say, say it. You don't necessarily have to repeat these mantras out loud either. You can journal it, put up sticky notes around your home, or even make it the background image on your laptop. Whatever you need, do it! With that we come to the end of the video. Hope you liked this video and can share the best part in the comment box. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.